Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Shagnik Datta, I'm a second professional MBBS student at Bardwan Medical College and Hospital, West Bengal. In this video, I would like to dive into a very important topic of our entire MBBS journey that is effective note taking. Whether you are just starting out with your MBBS journey or you are into a knee deep position in your MBBS journey, effective note taking is a solution to better answers, better results and better revision strategies. So taking up notes beautifully and effectively is an essential element of our MBBS curriculum. In this video, I would like to discuss everything about that. Before we actually start discussing about how to take up notes effectively, let us just understand what actually is note taking and why is it so essential. Note taking is basically making a booklet of yourself referring to some standard books that are available in the market or maybe watching some video lectures or even the lectures that are being taught in our classes. Now, what is the need of making up a separate note when we already have such hefty good books and we have our teachers explaining everything to us? The reason is pretty simple. We cannot remember every single thing that is written in the book and not even the things that are being taught to us during our lecture classes. And that is when and why note taking becomes necessary. Note taking is something where we actually jot down the most important points and topics which help us to refer to those things before our exams and even help us to revise before our exams. There is a frequent question that we ourselves ask that how long and hefty should a note be? There is a simple answer to that. Every note should be based on your final destination. Whether you are preparing for your university examinations or you are preparing for some uh, special examinations like the NEET, PG or INICT, the notes for each of them should be a little different. For university exams, in most of the universities, the questions are usually repeated and these are some long format questions. So when we are actually making up notes for our university examinations, the notes should be in the form of question and answer and in the form of paragraphs. Whereas in case of notes which are useful for uh, the exams like NEET PG or INICT, the notes should be in a point-wise crisp manner. That is what will actually help us to refer to them accordingly. So now let us get into the actual topic of note taking, how it should be done so that the note becomes beautiful and effective at the end of the day. The first step of note taking should be reading and understanding the topic and concept and the chapter that we are trying to make the notes of. Before understanding and giving a read of the entire chapter from a standard book or attending lectures of our teachers won't help us make an effective note. So first and foremost, we should clarify our own concept of a particular topic or chapter and only then should we travel to make a note of it. If not possible to make notes simultaneously, we can even give some time secondarily to make the notes for a particular chapter. But clearing and clarifying the concepts of a particular chapter and topic is utmost necessary. Secondly, while making up notes, the notes should always be in a point-wise manner and not just the exact same words of the books that we are referring to. When we are actually using bullets and numberings to make a note, the note becomes very crisp and efficient. And if we are writing the same with our own language other than just copying the exact thing from a book, it becomes more easier for us to understand it before the exams because these are the things that we have written it ourselves according to the concepts that has been clear to us and that is 
what makes this note effective we can always use the particular important keywords which are present in some standard textbooks while writing the notes we should never copy the entire text from that particular textbook the second most important thing that we can include in our notes are using diagrams now using diagram is very subject specific while using diagrams in subjects like anatomy is very useful, it is of almost no use in subjects like uh, microbiology because there is nothing to draw in that subject. Drawing diagrams makes subjects like anatomy very easy. For example, the most complicated anatomical part is the head and neck anatomy in first year. Now, while we are studying the relations of different arteries, the branches of different arteries, maybe the relation of the parotid gland or maybe the temporomandibular joint, if we draw diagram rather than writing sentences and paragraphs, it would be retained longer for ourselves. While we are actually making up notes, whether we are writing in lines or we are uh, drawing diagrams, it helps us to retain the information for a longer period of time. And that is the importance of making and taking up notes. Thirdly, we can use flow charts in our notes. You all must have read about the direct and the indirect circuits of the basal ganglia in your physiology textbooks. Now, that is a very complicated thing that is being explained in the different textbooks. Now, we can easily remember these complicated things by just drawing a flow diagram that which one is activating which part, which part is inhibiting the other part, in which part the acetylcholine is being secreted, from which parts the dopamine is being secreted. So all these can be represented in the form of a flow chart and that becomes very easy for us to understand this entire Topic. In subjects like pharmacology, we can also make use of uh, flowcharts while describing the actions of particular drugs. For example, the action of nitrates can be easily explained by the usage of flowcharts rather than referring to some great paragraphs. Now, a very important part of effective note taking is representing the data in the tabular form. Using tables while representing certain information helps us to retain those informations for a longer time. For example, in my first year of medical college, uh, while studying the nervous system in physiology, what I did was I made a table of all the nucleuses present, their attachments and effects of the lesions of those nucleus. And I represented them in the form of a table which actually helped me to retain them longer rather than reading them in a haphazard way from different portions from different chapters and different books. I jotted them down in a single table in one or two pages and that actually helped me to revise and refer to every single nucleus at the same place. Now, last but not the least, one of the most important part of making a note is the usage of mnemonics. Mnemonics are said to be our secret weapons. Now, I personally do not use much mnemonics because mnemonics are something that needs to be remembered separately to remember one particular thing. But at times, a few of the mnemonics actually help us to retain the things for a longer time and makes us to remember and visualize the thing for a longer time. I would like to give an example. For example, in microbiology, while we are studying about the general bacteriology and we are classifying the bacteria based on their presence of capsule or if they are motile or non-motile, these groups of classification and the examples of certain bacteria, whether they are capsulated or non-capsulated, whether they are motile or non-motile, can be easily remembered by the usage of some mnemonics and that is what makes it a very efficient way of study. Now with this, we come to an end of making up notes. Now. Let us discuss how to actually utilize these notes. Once we have made the notes, it is our duty to revise and recheck these notes time and again. While we are rechecking these notes, referring to the books, we might find out that there are always certain points that we have missed out while writing it ourselves, which we can additionally 
add to these notes additionally while we are actually revising certain topics from these notes we should make use of color pens or highlighters to highlight the even more important points that are present in these notes and finally which turns out to be one of the most effective way of making your notes complete is adding and jotting down the points which you feel that you might not have added while attempting tests so giving up tests practicing questions makes your notes even better for example when we are actually solving mcqs there might be certain informative things that we might have missed out while making the notes and we no have not revised it as well once we start attempting questions from these chapters what happen is we find that there are a lot of things that we might not even read or maybe we might have missed out which are there in the questions we can actually see their answers and jot that important point in our notebook and that is what makes the note even more effective so with this we come to an end of the discussion of taking up notes efficiently note taking is the cornerstone of success in mbbs we need to take up notes regularly and effectively and revise them properly regularly so that these notes turn out to be useful during our mbbs preparation i hope you all like this video if you do please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends you can also connect with me on instagram and join my whatsapp channel until next time happy studying signing off Shagnik Datta.